Hey guys, Caden here. And if you hear any weird noises, that's because the chalk is under my feet and it's really annoying. But today I didn't want. Well, I want to tell you something, and I'm not. Give, there aren't any questions, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. And please put your answer in the comments or wherever you think you should put it. You know what you mean. I eat. My mom will put where to put it in like the description or whatever. Or with the. Don't even care what the video. Have you ever. <laughs> have you guys ever been with like. <clears throat> your parents somewhere and then you get frustrated at them and then um, you say something you don't want to or you get real mad at them? <clears throat> Please answer that because that happened to me and I want to know if that is a normal thing. But I also wanted to talk about disinhibition. I think that's what my mom said it. And that's when you say things that you don't want to. And it can sometimes be related to like threats or probably another probably a lot of Disorders with the only two I ever, I really know of are Tourette's and anxiety. Well, at least those are the ones <laughs> that I know are um, related. That can be related to this inhibition, or it can be a symptom of that. Can you explain a little bit more about disinhibition? Yeah, I'm going to. Thank you. This inhibition is where you can say things that you don't want to say. In like public places, I could <clears throat> like at church. I could yell on accident. I I wouldn't want to, but this might be something I'm thinking. I know this isn't really true, but I could be yelling. Easter is all about the Easter money, <laughs> and I know that's not true. <laughs> but that could be my threats or my anxiety. Now it's not always that. Sometimes it can just be the preteen BS that we all, well, all the preteens have <laughs> at least once. But sometimes. <laughs> like my mom and I found out yesterday and this morning, I think. More yesterday, in my opinion. the last two days. Yeah. <clears throat> we found out that it's not always the preteen BS that I. Show, but it's actually my anxiety, partially my anxiety, and partially my threats, because they both affect me in a stressful way. And what for me, that's really what what makes me makes the symptoms of my disorders go sky high. You are not alone. My mom will be putting a link in somewhere. <coughs> That um, leads you to Tourette.org slash something something something. I'm pretty sure we'll talk about symptoms of Tourette's and uh, and just inhibition because that's one apparently. Hey, but, would you do me a favor? Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, but would you go ahead and share a little bit about what what you said yesterday that was that really helped us recognize? Wait, there's something else going on once we read everything. Yesterday I was getting mad at my mom, and I told her that I wanted to kill myself, which was very scary. That's because I was very stressed, and that I didn't want to say that because I love my life. I mean, it's a little challenging sometimes with the disorders that I have. But I was saying that, and it was really scaring me. What did you say that you wanted to do to me? 
that really made us say, wait a second. I wanted to really punch the wall and hit my mom. I would never do that because I love her. And my dad, second, they're tied because I love my sister more than anything in the world. <laughs> Santa, come say hi. Hi. If you didn't know, she also has Tourette's and that stuff now, and that's really sad. And that, well, that's, that makes me feel sad because I, it's challenging for me. And I'm really afraid that's going to be super challenging for her. But yeah, yesterday I wanted to hit my mom as hard as I could. And I wanted to, wanted to run away. Well, I felt like I did, and I told her that. And I didn't mean that. That just came out, and it was really annoying. What happened at church today? And at church today, I think I talked about that we don't know if Jesus felt pain when he was on the cross, because it was like 2,000 years ago. And his dad is God and God can do anything. But what do we have as historical backup? We have the Bible even and I was arguing with the pastor leader of the church, kind of. The pastor. And I didn't want to do that because I'm a nice child, I think. But I cannot help that. And um read the link that my mom's gonna put down in the description talk to your parents show this to your parents and if you ever have this inhibition as a symptom for something if I, I think I'm saying you're right disinhibition you're correct no as a symptom like would that be as part I don't as, know that it's a you symptom be showing it like showing, you'll be exhibiting disinhibition if you ever exhibit disinhibition which is saying saying things that you might not want to say or doing things that you might not want to do but you do it well, that's probably something else. But well, that's the Tourette's, but <laughs> this inhibition is the saying of things. The saying of things that you don't want to say. That may not be socially acceptable. They may not be socially acceptable, but you say it anyways. And then your parents can get real mad at you, and no one likes that. No one, not even me. And that's, that's weird, because I love my parents, but well, no one likes getting mad, being having people get mad at them or getting yelled at and yeah but if you exhibit this inhibition which is once again saying things that is that are not socially acceptable or saying things that you don't want to say around other people tell your parents and um show them the link that my mom's gonna put down in the description because hopefully that'll explain it to him, and if this happens, they they might be able to see if, if it's just preteen BS, or if it's actually something you cannot help. You are not alone. Talk to someone. I have these disorders too. That's one way you're not alone, but hundreds, hopefully, well, not hopefully, but yes, lots of people, lots of people. <laughs> Of these disorders, so you are not alone. Talk to someone, you can do this. Bye!